Hey there, MPS from Wix Training Academy here and today we'll be exploring website trends. 2021 is right around the corner so don't get left in the dust with your website design. This video is made possible through Wix.com, my personal platform of choice that enables you to build stunning, strong, and functional websites in a fraction of the time. You can get started using Wix by clicking the link in the description below. Hey, I'm sure you're ready to leap into 2021, but one more thing before you do so. Make sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you can leap into 2021 on a high note along with instantly plugging into the largest Wix training community on the internet. It's a pretty great place to be. We'd love to have you. I'd love to have you. And I'm excited to introduce you to the community. To lay a brief framework for today's video, I'll be breaking down five different web design trends to watch for heading into 2021. Certainly, if you're able to work these into your website for the coming year, it will only help. These trends are meant to give you some foresight into 2021 so you can best prepare your website and utilize the trends that you think will best target your audience and just kind of keep in mind the ones that might not be as applicable to your audience, but just so you're aware of them. And that way you can create the best user experience possible. Stacking up first on our list is dark mode. I'm sure you have started to see an increase in the amount of websites that offer a dark mode theme to their website. Likely you've already seen this trend on your iPhone if you're an Apple user. Interestingly though, for years, light website design was the way to go. It offered a vibrant and light approach to the user. It made people feel invited and it was actually easier reading for people when accessing a website and it kept everything light and airy and that's how people liked it. However, in recent times, there's been a heavy push over to dark mode. And what dark mode has done is it has opened up new opportunities in the realm of design. It actually allows for an additional pack of creativity and design to pack a punch and offer new opportunities to those designers out there to come up with cool uh, different features and factors of design. In addition to that, there are actually some health benefits of dark mode. Did you know that? Literally, some actual health benefits of dark mode. Studies have shown that in dark mode, it's easier on our eyes and exposes us to less blue light, resulting in a happier, healthier you. And if 2020 has taught you anything, it should certainly be to prioritize happiness and health. And due to the health benefits displayed in this new form of design, you'll begin to see websites give power to their users by enabling them to select either light or dark mode when accessing their website. This ultimately gives preference to the user and results in a happier website visitor. And as we all know, a happier website visitor results in more traffic and results in higher conversions. And at the end of the day, our website is there to provide value and also increase our business, uh, whether that's revenue, whether that's conversions, whether that's sales, whatever that might be, but that's our goal. And that's what this will start to allow you to do. Da -da -da -da. Trend two incoming. So what do you say we go back to the basics with this trend? I'd like to introduce our second trend, which is minimalism. You have likely heard this word thrown out like candy on a Halloween lately. Essentially, minimalism is a life focused less on stuff and more on experiences, on impact. For instance, one of the worst things you can probably buy for a minimalist this Christmas would be tons and tons of gifts. That's not what they're looking for. They're not looking for an increase in gifts. They're not looking for a bunch of stuff. They're actually looking for the opposite. They're trying to remove all of the excess stuff in their life. However, that individual would likely enjoy 
a great experience. Maybe getting to race exotic cars in Vegas or a trip to a bungalow in the Maldives. I know, I know. Michael, get on with how this relates to my website. What I'm saying is you need to bring it back to the basics. Don't overload your website with a bunch of unnecessary clutter. Plan out what your website needs to accomplish at its core and implement a design that will complement that goal. If you go in with a plan of execution and you know exactly what the call to action is, the goal is on your website, you can then better track the user experience and the user journey and determine, okay, this is what I ultimately want the user to be able to accomplish on my website. And then you can build a design around that. But the key with the minimalistic design is remove the excess stuff. You don't need as much clunky excess design as people think you do to make your website look clean. In fact, honestly, the complete opposite. The more stuff you remove, the cleaner your website will look. So take this new minimalistic approach as a common trend heading into 2021, and I promise you'll start to see some results from making this change to a more minimalistic approach. Trend number three is no design at all. Excuse me? Did, did you just say no design? Hold your horses there, Bronco. This new age form of design is actually called anti-design, and it's a push to break the boundaries and traditional rules of design. In fact, some people may even consider this form of design ugly. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm one of these people that is not huge on this anti-design type of model and type of design as a whole. Although, you dip into the proper market with this design and you'll be like a high fashion model in LA or New York. Trendy and irresistible. Typically in this form of design, you're using more abstract ways of building. So you're doing things like overlapping shapes, using questionable fonts and utilizing colors that most would find kind of odd when working together. This is a very, you must be willing to repel the many to attract the few type of design. Although if you are able to target a market, and there's a lot of different markets that are interested in this anti-design right now. Designers themselves, uh, high fashion individuals, certain music groups uh, and communities really like this type of design. And if you're able to dip into those and your target market is those uh, are those people, well, then you've got a real opportunity here to kind of go with this anti-design approach and see how it works out for you. Uh, again, not my personal preference, but I'm here to present you the facts or at least opinions of what the 2021 web design trends look like at this current moment. And this is certainly one of them. But again, make sure you've got the right market for this approach. Otherwise, you may turn a lot of people off. Once again, this is a very you must be willing to repel the many to attract a few type of design. Trend four, the internet can be accessed by everyone, right? Technically, yes. But this is where trend number four comes into play. Accessibility. There has been a massive increase in awareness when it comes to accessibility. See, not everyone can see or hear or click the same. By creating accessible websites, you can now add features like audio to accompany text or the ability to increase font size for your user on page. These little adjustments end up going a long way in making your website become more attractive in the eyes of the user. And we all know that if your website becomes more attractive in the eyes of the user, it becomes more attractive to our friends over at, yours truly, Google. They recognize the accessibility inputs and will actually help you rank better in their search engine. By utilizing this accessibility, ultimately, increased accessibility means increased traffic to your website, which is always a win. And I know this is a new style of it's not even necessarily design, but it's kind of design. It's incorporating accessibility features into your design to make a bigger impact and cast a wider net onto the internet, then thus creating 
a larger demographic that's interested in coming to your website because of your accessibility features. It makes it easier for them. For instance, the older generation, if you've got size 10 font or size 11 font on your website, a lot of them, even with their glasses on, may not be able to read that font. But now, hence, accessibility features that same person comes to your website you've got size 10 font traditionally however you have an ability to uh, and you make it very clear for people to increase the font size so they can read better on your website or your blog and that then creates a more user-friendly and accessible website and it attracts a proportion of the traffic that may not have originally been interested in coming to your website purely out of the fact that they couldn't read what was on your website to now they're a roaring fan of your website and they'll be there for every new post right so creating these accessibility approaches make an it makes an impact on your website game as a whole if you made it to this point in the video comment below and say trend 5 warrior Pat yourself on the back for taking initiative and time to build a better website for a better future. Our last trend here focuses on increased functionality. Funny enough, we noticed a more minimalistic approach to design, but an increased feature load when it comes to website functionality. It's important to keep in mind that the goal is not to overload the user with features, but instead equip them with all the features necessary to provide them a great experience. So actually we see this in almost every capacity on a website. From the form fill out process, to making it easier for an online shopper to order, to giving users more capabilities to enhance their profiles, Ultimately, it comes down to a push for personalization. That's right, personalization. If you're able to empower your user while also making their life easier on your website, you will win. It's that plain and simple. The website that hyper focuses on user experience is the one that's doing it right. This will impact all aspects of your website in a positive way. It will increase time on website, user engagement, conversions, and even purchase rates. Start by going through your website as if you were a user and determine what, what is hard to use or kind of a pain to use on your website and start building out solutions to those pain points. What you'll ultimately figure out is that these are the areas on your website that the users are currently experiencing those same pain points. But by you taking the time to pretend you were a user of your website and figure out what you like and what would make it better, you're actually enhancing that overall experience, not only for you and your peace of mind knowing that you're building a better website, but more importantly for your user. And if you're able to build features that enhance their experience, and ultimately, at the end of the day, make their experience more convenient, more exciting, more personalized, and ultimately more efficient, you are going to make a better website and it's going to show. So you are now equipped with the proper tools and trends to head into 2021 strong with your website. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, I would kindly ask that you click the like button below, comment and let me know any other trends that you see heading into 21 or 2021 uh, let me know if you know i covered all the ones you thought or if you see some other ones i'd love to hear some feedback in the comment section and then also smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content heading into the new year plus here's the best part you'll instantly join the largest wix training community on the internet and we'd love to have you, I'd love to have you, and I'm ready to welcome you in because it's an awesome community of people. And oh yeah, if you haven't already started with Wix, click the link in the description below and go build your website on Wix.com. Trust me, you'll be able to build a stunning, strong, and functional website in a fraction of the time. Keyword there, fraction of the time. Thank you again for watching today's video and checking out the new web design trends heading into 2021 and I'll be sure to catch you on the next one but until then start implementing some of those new web design trends where applicable for your audience on your website thank you guys again for watching I'll catch you on the next one